Hello everyone and welcome to my Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you work with the different selection modes that are here inside Photoshop. Now friends, there is a difference between selection tools and selection modes. So every tool, actually select every kind of selection mode is going to be found inside a selection tool. So no matter what uh, tool you have selected, whether you have the rectangular marquee, whether you have the different lasso tool, you can see these, these four are the selection modes that you have to work with. So no matter what kind of tool you have, the quick wand, you know, in quick wand, they may appear a little different, but uh, basically they mean the same thing. Uh, in the magic wand too, you can see they are there. So basically whatever tool you have selected, these four uh, different selection modes are going to be there uh, in those, um, you know, in those tools. Okay. So let's start working with them. Now I'm assuming that you have already watched my rectangle as in my marquee selection tool tutorial. Uh, so, so, uh, so basically you should be having a basic knowledge about these tools. I'm going to be using the elliptical marquee and say that I drew like, you know, a perfect circle. Okay. I'm just dragging and holding on my shift key for creating a perfect circle like this and boom. Now we have a perfect circle, but now say that we wanted to add to the selection. So how are we going to do that? Instead of just deselecting and making the whole selection again, right? We can, instead of doing that, we can firstly create a perfect circle or firstly create a basic selection, right? And then we can add to selection or basically we can change from this normal selection mode to add to selection mode. So what this does is it basically keeps your selection, keeps your first base selection, and then it adds to your selection. You can see this perfect. And you can see that we just added to our selection. You can see right now I'm like my mouse pointer has changed uh, the cursor. Like it has that small plus icon to the cursor indicating that now I'm in the add to selection mode. Uh, there's one more selection, which basically means subtract from selection. So as the name suggests, if I was to create a selection and overlap it with my base selection, I'm going to be removing parts of that image. So right now you can see very easily. I created some very unique shapes. Okay. Which would have taken me some time uh, to create if I was an illustrator or if I was doing it with pen tool inside Photoshop. So right now I'm, what I'm trying to say is definitely experiment with these tools. Okay. They are very, very awesome. And uh, one last one is intersect. Now this is actually a little confusing, but what this basically does is if you were to create a selection and overlap, uh, keep it on top of your base selection. So whatever is intersecting between those two images. So right now you can see uh, at my corner end, you can see those boomerang kind of shapes. Those are going to go away. Well, whatever is in between these two selections is going to stay. And as soon as I let go, you'll see. I create a very different kind of selection once again. So these selections are pretty awesome. Okay. These different modes help you do a lot with these selection tools. Uh, I actually have this one, uh, training course on my channel tutorials for graphics, Adobe Photoshop, create a photo effects for beginners. Now in this training course, I actually show you how to create different photo effects like warm, uh, like for example, this warm smooth vignette effect, the snowfall effect, rainfall effect, um, working with layer styles, glowing vines, floral design. So definitely check this out and on the 11th part, you can see I've actually used one of these uh, modes for creating a very com actually not a complex, but a confusing uh, selection uh, for my photo manipulation. So definitely go check this 11th tutorial out ellipse tool selection. Um, you know, definitely check it out and make sure that you even um, watch these tutorials to get a good understanding of creating different effects inside Photoshop. But uh, friends, one note I would like to give you is that this create a photo effects for beginners is like one step ahead of the beginners training course. So what I would advise you is complete the beginners course first and then go on and learn uh, from these photo effects. Okay. Okay. Now, um, like I said, this is the basics of working with these tools. Okay. Now these tools can be found or these different selection modes can be found in all the tools. So we have the rectangular marquee, right? I'm going to take my addition tool and I can basically add to it like this. And if I want to uh, subtract something, so I can even do that by this. So you can see we can make a very um, different kind of shape. I don't know what this is. Maybe some kind of building, maybe, you know, a, a base plan for a building. I can add some windows to this, right? What the hell? Oh, actually, yeah, we have to remove it, right? Remove some, what the hell, what's happening? Yeah, like this, like this and somewhat like this. So uh, basically you can do lots and lots of crazy things with these selection modes. Definitely check them out, right? 
and uh, you have them for every different tool. Now I'm going to be discussing all these uh, polygonal lasso and lasso tools in my later tutorials, but basically they also help you in uh, creating selections. Okay, so that's uh, kind of important. And uh, all these different selection tools can be found in basically every selection tool. So Magic Wand also has them. Uh, quick Selection also has them. Actually, the Quick Selection works. In, it's kind of like a paint brush, right? And what the hell? You can see it, it's kind of like a paint brush and then you can basically add to the selection too. You can remove from the selection by switching your mode. And now let's talk about the keyboard shortcuts. Now the keyboard shortcuts once again are very, very important because they help you transform and work faster. They transform you into a power user, right? Um, so I, I'm going to be using my ellipse tool once again. I'm just going to create a very basic ellipse. And friends, for adding to the selection, you can hold down the Alt key, actually the Shift key uh, for adding. You can see that my mouse pointer changes from this X. The uh, the X indicates um, the X indicates uh, intersect mode. The plus indicates uh, the add to selection mode. So you can see this. You can add to selection. If I hold on my Alt key, you will see that my mouse pointer changes to the subtract icon, which means I am going to be cutting out from uh, my selections like that and you can create very different tools very, very different shapes I don't know what this was uh, but um, okay kind of good different I think it's kind of like an owl you know you can just go ahead add some selection to this like this create some very funky designs um, I think we should even add in a smile or oh. <laughs> something like that uh, but create some very different kind of things, you know, so definitely go ahead practice experiment Okay, and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching friends I hope you understood. I hope you got some ideas uh, of how to use these different selection modes uh, Please subscribe to my channel tutorials for graphics and I will keep making tutorials keep watching them keep learning and uh, Please subscribe. So my name is TJ Stan and I will see you all next time. Take care